Hey guys, it's Jen, and I wanted to share with you a little bit of my process for creating this uh, hybrid layout, and that hybrid just means that I'm using some digital elements and some physical products, and I'm using the Believe Story Kit from Allie Edwards, and I am doing this layout, so there was a lot of things that I thought of when, when this Believe Kit came out, and there's so many ways I could have taken this, but because we have been obsessed with going to the movies lately, and there's yeah, oh, I just love the movies. I love the movies. Um, I wanted to do a layout about the movies. And so what my um, title is, is I so believe in the magic of movies, of the movies. And I wanted to just document how much I love the movies. And I also wanted to showcase how many movies we've been to. Just This is really in just a few weeks time. And we've just been loving going to the movies lately. So I just wanted to document that. And I decided to do it. It's going to be a two-page spread. You can see I've already got a lot of it started here. And this is going to be an 8.5 by 11 full page. And I have this. So Finding Dory came out this last week or the week before. And my local movie theater had these little Finding Dory posters. And Malia grabbed my daughter, grabbed one, and immediately put it up on her wall. And I grabbed an extra one just in case. And what I'm going to do is place this little cutout over the poster in some way. And I thought that would just be a fun way to kind of incorporate some uh, local, you know, like memorabilia into my album in addition to the movie tickets. And I think you could do this whole movie ticket idea without any photos. I happen to have a couple of photos. We took my nephew to his very first movie ever, so I want to talk a little bit about that. We'll see how much room I have to talk about all of these things. Um, because we wanted him to experience the magic of movies. And so I have a couple of photos of taking him to the, the movies for the first time ever that I'm going to include. But you could definitely do this with no photos. And I think it'd still be just as compelling. So I'm going to work on this one first only because I have a lot of it done already. But what I have is um, I have some 3x4 cards that I created using the Digital Believe Kit. And it comes with this cute little speech bubble stamp. And I just colorized each one of these little speech bubbles and then added the title of the movie. And then I added some stars. These stars came in the craft uh, story kit. And I added some stars like with a rating. And so like this one, I gave a four star rating. This one is two. This one's three and a half. So just kind of my different star ratings for each one. And then I I'm going to include the movie ticket on it, and I might write a little blurb about the movie to the side of it if I have something to say. I have my two photos. I have this card, which I'm thinking I just want to put a bunch of these cute little chipboard pieces on, but I haven't decided exactly. And then this one, this little card that says, you better believe it. Now this is from the physical uh, kit, but you could definitely, both of these are, but you could definitely print them out if you wanted to. This card says thank you for believing me in me over and over again and I'm just kind of ignoring that and using the text as an element since I'm going to cover up half of it anyway. So let's go ahead and get started on this and I'm going to just speed it up for you. These are some uh, gold foil little pinked circles that came in the kit. They're like a sturdy cardstock. Um, these are also in the in the digital kit but I'm using the physical product for that one. Because I get the physical kit, I tend to use a mixture of the digital and physical products, but obviously you could print off all of these and use them purely digital, or if you just are a digital girl uh, or guy, you could just layer these up in Photoshop together on a template and it would look cool too. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm going to start by clipping all of these movie tickets to the little cards that I created with some Tim Holtz little tiny paper clips and they are so perfect and cute and I'm using the kind of antiqued gold because I am uh, planning to use those little gold pinked circles and I decided to paper clip them rather than just gluing them down a because I like the way the paper clip looks but also because I thought that this might be something in years like years down the road that you might want to see the kinds of things that were advertised on the back of these or I don't know just a cool piece of memorabilia that you could pull out and actually look at if you know were 
interested in the things of our time. And so I think that with certain kinds of memorabilia, it's a good thing to let it be removable so that people can look at it down the road. So I did, you know, probably noticed that I did cut like the edges off of some of those tickets just so they'd fit on the card. Um, and I went ahead and attached all of those little chipboard pieces to that card and stapled the true story little circle piece on with a gold staple from American Crafts using my little uh, gold American Crafts stapler there. And now I am trying to decide if I want to add a little bit of writing about each movie onto the card. And there's definitely room for me to do that. And so I I go ahead and just write like a little caption. And I'm planning, so the back of this is completely empty. So I thought it would be fun to fill up the back side of this. This is a 9 by 12 page protector. Um, I can go ahead and as we see more movies throughout the summer, which I've already seen, I think, three or four since I created this layout, um, that I can go ahead and fill up the pockets on the back side of this as well. So just something that I kind of plan to do. And then I can write a little caption about each one. So I, I um, saved the template that I created to make those cards with. Um, and like I said, it's just the speech bubble and I added text and stars to it uh, so that I could print that out and, and put it into the pockets. So I'm writing a little bit more on the Angry Birds one because there's more space. And it's kind of like the odd one out. I usually go to there's a certain theater that, that we like to go to. We like to go to the Megaplex Theater. and But every once in a while, we'll go to a different one if we can't go to the one we want to. So um, it's a little bit of a different look. So now I'm trying to decide if how I want to do all of these little gold circles. And I thought that I was going to put one on every single movie but I decide to take some of those off here in just a second. I typed up my journaling on that that card that says you better believe it on just on my typewriter. It's very imperfect and I embrace the imperfection. So I whittled it down to three of those little circular uh, embellishments and now I am sliding my cards into the page protector and I'm sliding them all in backwards because this is going to uh, lie next to the other side of the layout that I'm creating and so I want it to be on the left hand side and so um, there you can see me just sliding those in there. So now I'm going to work on the right hand side of this layout and I'm going to keep it really simple. It's just an eight and a half by 11 page and like I mentioned before I want to place it over the little movie poster that I got from my theater and I'm just going to uh, trim this poster down so that it fits right behind my um, little word that I cut out on my silhouette, my little phrase there. And it's just, I'm trying to place it. It's hard to tell in the final photos that you'll see at the end, but I do place it so you can see Dory's eyes. You can see a little bit of Nemo, or is it Marlin? I'm not sure which one, uh, in like within the letters. So I wanted to make sure it was interesting that way. So you can kind of see on the T, you can see Dory's eyes. You'll see it here a little bit better in just a second. So there you see her in the T and then Marlin's down in the F. It's really hard to see, but uh, it totally, you can see it. And I like that. So I'm going to use some watercolor and I'm going to color around the word believe. So I put it back on my silhouette mat here and I'm just going to color it on the mat so it's stuck down. And so when it dries, it will be a little bit less warped because it's it uh, is going to dry on this flat surface. And it's just an easy way to color the edges. So I'm what I'm trying to create is kind of a little halo around the word believe. And this is a technique that I stole and learned from Paige Evans. I've seen her do this on uh, things that she cut has cut out several times and I really like the look of it. So I'm using this ecru color and just a ranger water brush and those watercolors are peerless watercolors and I got those from Studio Calico. And so I'm just doing all around that word believe. I thought about doing all of the words, but I decide to just go with the word believe. And I think it ends up giving it a really cool look. So you'll see that here. I'm going to pull it up 
and then I think I end up placing it back down because I want it to dry flat. There we go. <laughs> so I let it dry. And what I'm going to do now is I want there to be a little bit of a shadow. And so I'm going to pop this up on foam um, and then put the poster behind the foam. So it's going to take me a little while to get all of that foam adhered down. I could have used like regular adhesive foam squares, but it's just less, it, they're so expensive if you use that many, so it's just cheaper to use this. I have an adhesive backed uh, foam that I got at Walmart, and it's like five dollars for a package of 60 or something like that. You can get it on Amazon as well. I'll link to any available products in the video description below, as well as over on my blog, so you can check that out. Um, but I'm just placing a, a lot of this, probably more than I need, uh, and I will skip ahead on this here in just a second. But so I place the adhesive side down and then I put uh, my own adhesive on the side that's facing that you can see right now that's facing out. So I'm just going to place that there so it's nice and sturdy. And then I will adhere that to the background piece. So here I'm deciding to move the heart. Uh, I replaced the heart that was on me before you. Uh, the ticket on the left and I'm, I put the check mark there and I'm going to use the heart piece on this side. So a good way to kind of incorporate things together is to use embellishments that are the same on both sides. And so I'm going to use one of those little circles on, on this page. And so I'm trying to also decide if I want to use some of the chipboard pieces with it as well. And I'm going to fiddle for quite a, a while to decide where I want to put embellishment on here because I want it to be really simple and clean uh, and, and well designed. So I'm playing around with some of the chipboard pieces here. I want to do a chipboard phrase and I want to do the little half circle chipboard and I want to do one of the little chipboard circles and I want to do everything and it's just not, it's just too much and I'm going to keep it really simple. So I looked through my chipboard pieces from past story kits and I'm going to find one that's that kind of orangey color that's on the left hand side that says, hello passion. And that's from the craft story kit. And I like the way that looks. And I add a little gold staple so that it kind of resembles the true story little circle on the left hand side. So I'm repeating, if not exact elements, I'm repeating techniques. Um, and so here's where I decide to take one of those little pink uh, gold foil circles. And I'm going to uh, place it in one of the O's of the of the words on on that white cutout piece. So originally I thought I was going to place this cut file in my page protector without adhering the poster to the back of it because I really wanted to have it be uh, removable so that you could take that out. But in the end, I adhered it anyway. So I'm going to put true story little, the true story little circle over the heart, which if I would have been thinking about it, I would have chosen a different circle so that I could, uh, the heart is one that I would definitely use another time, but I didn't think about it. And so I'm just going to place it over the heart. And you'll see that here in a second. I'm going to just put some adhesive on this foam. I'm not gonna put it on every piece, just on a few of them. And that will be enough to adhere it to the poster. And it was just not easy to place it over the poster like I had wanted to so that you could pull it out. So I'm just letting that go and it's just going to be a fun little detail added to this page. But I think that if I had decided not to put it up on foam, it would have easily slid in and out. And it would have been a cool piece of memorabilia that you could pull out just like the tickets. So just something to keep in mind. Um, I'm, I put a little extra piece of adhesive underneath some of these little pieces that were coming up. Although once I stick it into the page protector, it really didn't matter. So I didn't really have to do this, I don't think. But I get a little adhesive happy. There's something satisfying about putting the adhesive on to me. So um, I am going to just place that little circle down in, in the O of movies. And that is going to finish this off after I place the chipboard circle over the heart. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed this layout. Here's some close-up photos. And it was a really different thing for me to try. And I'm really excited to add more of my movie 
movie reviews to the left hand side of the layout. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment below. And like I mentioned before, I'll link to all available products in the video description, as well as over on my blog at craftygenscow.com. You can find Allie's digital and physical story kits at AllieEdwards.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.